Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A statement from the Wisconsin Department of Correction. It comes as public concern grows over a prison lockdown that is now approaching its 10th month. The department announced an increase in corrections officers and is lifting some restrictions on movement at Wapon Correctional and Green Bay Correctional. In this first alert update, Emily Riley explains what the department is doing to fill the open positions and how advocates are responding. It's an issue that transcends political parties, with people on both sides of the aisle expressing concern about prison conditions in our state, largely due to staffing shortages. Last week, the DOC reported a 9% increase in correctional officer staffing over the past six months. However, the DOC's vacancy rate dashboard shows Wapon Correctional still has more than 54% of its staff positions unfilled. And at Green Bay Correctional, the vacancy rate is is about 40 percent. The DOC secretary Kevin Carr says, quote, while we understand the work is not yet finished, we're encouraged by both the growing interest in corrections officer jobs and the tremendous work from our staff to help get us to this point, end quote. The DOC is expecting more correction students to complete training and join the workforce later this month. They attribute the staff boost to state budget funding, bumping up the starting pay to $33 an hour with add-ons. Meanwhile, some say the problems go beyond just staffing shortages. I think that there's a whole bunch of things that need to go on in regards to restorative justice in the state of Wisconsin just just to begin with. Sarah Williams from Joshua, an advocacy group in Green Bay, believes the DOC will continue to struggle with retaining employees until the conditions inside can be much more improved. She says issues like rat infestations, overcrowding, inconsistent medical care, and more are unacceptable. It's inhumane. It's essentially, at the end of the day, it's a humanitarian crisis kind of to the level that perhaps the National Guard should come in and do something if they're not going to close it. It takes about 160 hours of coursework to become a certified correctional officer in Wisconsin. The DOC says there are students in training right now preparing to fill some of the remaining vacancies. The Joshua Group plans to address the issue with state representatives next month. Emily Riley, Action 2 News. Upon Correctional is facing a new lawsuit after one of its inmates died by suicide. The daughter of inmate Dean Huffman filed the suit today against the state prison officials, alleging they did not provide adequate, adequate, adequate care, that is. She alleges that Huffman showed serious signs of mental illness before being locked up in solitary confinement. Huffman went weeks without seeing any mental health care providers due to a lockdown in conditions and received medications infrequently during his time there. He was placed in confinement for nine days before he was found dead. The lawsuit is seeking unspecified damages. A spokesperson for the Wisconsin Department of Corrections says the agency does not comment on pending litigation as a matter of policy.